For most of us, the term going in blind is a saying used if we've had no prior experience with a certain task or subject. However, for John of Bohemia at the Battle of Cressy, he was in fact literally going in blind. John of Bohemia was born in 1296 to his mother Margaret of Brabant and his father Henry VII of Luxembourg. In accordance with a certain other king who was born to a father called Henry VII, I can confirm John of Bohemia's love life was although much less problematic than that of Henry the Apes, still pretty messed up. John actually exiled his first wife, who was the mother to his three kids, after finding out she was plotting to remove him from his position as king, and also replace him with their eldest son Charles. Despite this, it was said the king went into an extreme period of mourning a few years later when he heard the news of her passing. John was not particularly popular with the Czech people he ruled over, and therefore decided he did not want to deal with the outrage any longer. In possibly the only act that would make the modern day British government look disciplined and functional, John decided he would leave his barons in charge of the country whilst he went travelling. At around age 39, John lost his eyesight from ophthalmia, which is a form of inflammation within the eye. A Spartan captain was actually unable to fight at the Battle of Thermopylae, known for the famous 300 Spartan story, due to the infection, although he still later died in battle partly due to his struggling vision. Ophthalmia does not always blind the individual in question, but sadly for John, he was indeed made completely blind. At the start of the Hundred Years' War, John allied with King Philip VI of France and was even appointed governor to a province of France. One part of his new role would include controlling King Philip's soldiers, and so at the Battle of Crecy in 1346, John set up his men and sent them into battle. According to one medieval writer, John asked as to the whereabouts of his son, who was involved in the battle. It turns out his son had already decided to flee the battle, but John at the time had no knowledge of this. John demanded that his men take him into battle, and so a number of them tied their horse's reins to that of John's horse so they could guide him onto the battlefield. Accounts say he and his men fought valiantly. Although they were far outnumbered, there was no chance of survival, and so the next day the body of John was found next to a group of tied together horses. John was succeeded by his son Charles, and his tomb lies in a cathedral in Luxembourg to this very day. John of Bohemia may have died in battle, but his bloodline retained great power long after his death. John's great-grandson was Charles VI of France, also known as Charles the Mad. He gave birth to Catherine of Valois, who married Henry V, and then Owen Tudor. This means John of Bohemia's great-great-great-great-great-grandson was Henry VIII. So I guess we now know where the future King of England got his strange relationship antics from.